if the x position ball is greater than x position plus what is it, 20? 20? 20? Then switch to costume right. No, I don't want that. Actually, I want this one. I want another if then else block. Drag that if there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this little button allows you to shrink the size of the screen so you have more editing room. Okay. If the x position of the ball is less than the exposition of this brick minus 20 switch the costume left otherwise we check again if it's greater than exposition plus 20 switch to costume right and if neither of these has turned out to be true then we switch to the costume down bigger again and let's run it and let's see how that goes Didn't work No, we're not getting the costume down. So let's see what the problem is. There we go, that works. Okay. Uh, okay, well, let's make this a little bit bigger. Let's get the range here a little bit bigger. Okay. All right, so let's run this. There we go. All right. Now that we know that works, Let's use this clone tool, drag a copy, let's make this guy smaller, a little smaller. A little smaller for each one. Oop, that should do it. Okay. Fine. Whoops. Good. Okay. Here we go. All right. So my students can take out their aggression on me. Look how slow that is now. That there's so many of these. Um. So many of these things to pay attention to. Yeah, as we added more sprites, they're running more instructions each time, and you can see the game does slow down. So we've taken a look at MIT's Scratch. This allows us to slap together a quick prototype for what a game might look like if you were to develop it a little bit more fully, with a little bit more power behind it, but. Uh, Kids can feel very empowered if you, for instance, give them a starting frame of a game and allow them to add their own graphics. The uh, ability to add sounds and the ability to add their own pictures, and there's a library of preset um, audio clips and uh, images so that uh, kids who aren't all that into art can instead manipulate and play around with existing stuff. So. Um, there you go, MIT Scratch.